Hello everyone, hopefully everyone had a great holiday. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Beast Saga fig from Takara Tommy. Now I actually won this on the Cybercast about a month ago. And if you're not familiar with the Cybercast, it's a great show for us Transformer fans to get a lot of news and insight in the Transformer world. It's hosted by two good friends of mine, G1 Hexatron and Primal Sabbath. It airs every Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on G1 Hexatron's YouTube channel. Definitely check it out if you're a Transformer fan or just a collector in general. Now, as far as the Beast Saga here is concerned, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know a lot about it. Um, I do know a little bit about a, the Battle Beast, which I guess is the precursor to these guys that came out in the late 80s, which um, are basically these figs that were in to... Um, there's three factions that, that these figs could be a part of. It was fire, water, and wood, and they just battled each other. And they actually were part of the... Um, or at least they were in a couple of the episodes in the Japanese Headmaster series. But as far as the Beast Saga figs here, they kind of take that same type of theme, but instead of the whole fire, wood, water, they do the air, land, and sea. And they also put in a kind of a kind of a card dice game, which is kind of a cool kind of like um, blend of both worlds, I guess. So what we're looking at here is the Series 2 kind of translucent line. Basically, we have these characters that were already released in Series 1, and now we get kind of a translucent armor kind of um, plastic look on these guys. Now, on the side here, we kind of see who we get in the series. Same on this side. And down here, we got we kind of see what actually comes in the package. You get a fig, you get some weapons, a collectible card, and some dice right there on the back here. Um, really don't know what it says. It's all in Japanese. Um, something that pertains to the game. All right, let's take a look at the actual fig that came in the box here. My camera will focus. There we go. Now, I'm not really sure on his name. I believe it's he's called Reina Sue, based off of the Series 1 Rhinos mold here. Um, very cool looking armor, translucent um, you know, armor that he has. I like the fact that his horn there is kind of translucent too. Got some nice detail. You can see the nice rhino symbol on the back. Now he does have some articulation. You can um, rotate his arms around 360 degrees. He has movement in the legs, forward and back. Nothing really in the head, or at least I don't think there is. I don't really want to um, push it too much because it feels like it might break. It does come with um, two weapons here, this, his sword. Now I believe the original rhinos came with a spear, but um, this guy came with this sword. It's kind of bent, but... I can fix that later. And this nice little shield right there. Now he does come with some dice here. And again, I don't know how to play the game or anything to that nature, but I do like the fact that we have a symbol right there. And then we have this nice collectible card. Nice picture of him right there. And on the back here, I'm assuming we get a bio and some stats on the actual fig, which is cool. Put that right there. Now, one thing I actually like about the fig is not only you get playability with just the fig itself, but you actually um, can utilize it as a means to launch the dice, which is really kind of cool. So you kind of pull back on this kind of plunger mechanism. Pop in the dice here. And that looks pretty cool too. And then you can just launch it out by just pushing down. And then there you go really kind of a cool um, added playability which I do like and I do like the fact that we get kind of again a mixture between a fig a collectible card game type you know and a dice game here too all in one it's kind of nice I do like the fact that they um Takara did that now again I'm not familiar with the B Saga line here I know it is popular I know that there's, I think, two seasons worth of anime out there. There's um, a manga. There's video games on top of just this game alone and whatnot. So kind of cool figs. You know, if you're into the Battle Beast back in the day and kind of want a more updated look, you know, take a look at the Beast Saga here from Takara. Um, so that's about it, guys. So this has just been a quick look at the um, Reina Sue fig from the Beast Saga line. Again, 
check out the Cybercast. It airs on G1 Hexatron's YouTube channel every Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks for watching in. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.